All right, guys, today I'm going to talk about the Festool HKC55. It's a cordless track saw, circular saw, and whatever you want to call this, all in one. I have a love hate relationship with this tool. I love it, and I hate it all at the same time, and I'm going to tell you guys why today. So why do I love this saw? Because it does everything. It's a track saw. It's a circular saw. It's got this wicked track that it slides on, so you can cut accurate miters and compound miters by setting this to the bevel you want to cut or the miter saw you want to cut, and then setting this to the bevel you want to cut. It's a plunge saw. You can set the depth you want it to plunge to, pull it up, get it into your cut and then plunge it down. It works just like a normal track saw on tracks. It's got dust extraction. It's Festool, so it's got onboard tool storage to change the blade. It's got a riving knife. It's got this handy, super handy feature here. When using it as a regular circular saw, you can pull the guard back just by pressing this little lever right here, which is really trick. I think McKee has got this on a few saws. Why do I hate it? Because it doesn't do any of those things really well. What do I mean by that? I mean, as a track saw, it doesn't have the best dust extraction. This port is in the right place. It's removable. You can hook a bag up to it, which works nice. But because this plate is so open, a lot of dust gets out of it. Now, they could have fixed that by just at least covering the, this half of the saw here like that. I mean, you could probably just 3D print a cover for this and put it on there. It doesn't have a ton of power. It's like, it's not that powerful. And with the stock blade, most guys have trouble cutting through 2x4s two by, two by with it. It's sold as a framing saw. If you switch up to a ripping blade, which you shouldn't have to use to cut 2x4s, by, two by but if you buy that blade, it'll cut 2x4s perfectly well. As a framing saw, it's fantastic cutting 2x4s with the right blade until you go to cut something on a 45 and you realize that its depth of cut without or sitting on a track is just too short to actually cut a 45 without leaving a little nib behind on the piece you're cutting. This track is honestly the coolest thing you can imagine. With this saw, I've actually done entire flooring jobs in a house, trim in a house, like baseboard casing. Yes, I've done casing and baseboard with this saw alone. But, and these tracks come in multiple different lengths and they're fairly accurate in terms of setting a 90. But what's really annoying is that it just, no matter how much you lubricate it, clean it, it just doesn't slide that well on the track. It gets stuck a lot of times. And then you kind of got to shake it back. And, you know, they say just clean it. It's not clean enough. It just doesn't really work that well, to be honest. My own personal experience, I've had to send this saw in for warranty uh, twice, three times, really. But the issue still persists. I, occasionally, and sometimes more than not, depending on which battery I'm using, which is weird enough, you pull the trigger, it'll cut once, and when you go to pull the trigger again, it won't do anything until you remove the battery and put the battery back in. Including the blade on here, I have seven for this saw. It's nice that Festool makes so many different blades with such specific applications like fiber cement board or hardy paneling. Uh, this is their rip, their panther ripping blade. This is a fine tooth wood blade, which is ATB alternating tooth bevel, blah, 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 blah. This is a finer blade. This is a blade for melamine. This is the stock blade, which is great for cutting uh, just like regular plywood although they advertise this blade as cutting framing lumber. And then I've got a coarser 
ATB blade 28 tooth versus the 48 uh, to one of these might be might be a duplicate but the worst part is you have to switch the blade for every different material material you're gonna cut if you go say cut a two by four with this blade it's not gonna work it's gonna jam up if you cut plywood with this blade it'll completely trash the plywood if you this will cut melamine just fine single sheet at a time this will cut you know finished grade plywood or veneer grade plywood and this cuts solid wood fairly well but again I have more money in blades sitting here than the saw cost me and that's not unusual but most other circular saws you can just put one blade you can put a finished blade in them and cut a two by four with it if you wanted to and with this it's just not possible with all of this set and to top it off the fact that I've had a pretty horrendous experience with Festool's warranty why do I still own this saw unfortunately no one else sells a saw like this in the Canadian market if I lived in the States I could get Mafal. They sell, I, I want to say, five different sizes of saws like this. They even sell one with a roll-up track that fits in the sustainer. It's a great system. They have more power. They seem to do a lot better and people have a lot less complaints with them. But I can't get them here. And even worse, I wouldn't get any, instead of just the poor warranty service I get from Festool, I wouldn't get any warranty service from them at all because I'd have to find a way to get back into the States. And with the pandemic right now, I wouldn't be able to do that at all. So I'm kind of stuck with this until there's a better option in this country. But I mean, I love this saw because I use this thing for everything. I frame with it. I've built cabinets with it. I've cut I've it done. board with it for a walk-in cooler finished grade plywood. I used it today to even cut uh, mortise and tenon joints on the end of a 2x4 that I milled out of solid walnut and then trim the end of that as well. In terms of saw, like it has so many uses, it's just frustratingly mediocre at all of its uses. I don't want to say mediocre. I mean, it does a good enough job, but it's frustrating a lot of times seeing how good this saw could have been if there was just any more thought put into it like Mafal had done with theirs.